hello everyone so today i am going to show you how to use multiple animations for the light attacks and how to use them like randomly every time i do an attack on this character so here is the demonstration uh, let me first demonstrate without attacking anyone so here you see that's a staff that's a diagonal slash and a vertical slash another horizontal slash and a stab now this step so these attacks are randomly chosen in the runtime so here but if my character is like this and the enemy that i am want to hit to the my right side my character will do an attack that is going from left to right otherwise it will be right to left so here is the demonstration as you can see everything is replicated and here I died you see different kinds of attacks are done by the character okay so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and as you can see everything is replicated so as a reminder this is the this is a part of this tutorial series that i am doing on action rpg with gameplay ability system so you can uh, the full tutorial series is available in the youtube i'll leave the link in description below and also you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page you can download anything without a limit once you become a member member so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and let's get back to today's tutorial right so here you can see in this sword and shield pack uh, i am only concerned about these simple attacks at the moment so here you have these two uh, right to left simple attacks and this is uh, left to right slash and this is directly from up down slash and this is a forward slash so what i want to do now is randomly choose one of these attack types when my character perform a light attack with the sword so for that let me show you i am already using oh no i'm using this animation so this these are the animations let me go to the list mode so we can easily see page animations so slash diagonal slash horizontal i'm using already using that that's why i already have a montage here and slash horizontal backswing slash in place vertical and slash uh, and attack in place step okay so these are the four animations that i want to use so what i have to do is now if i open this animation montage that i already use what i have done is make a montage and i have added this start sword attack and end sword attack notifiers so i will have to and also yeah i will have to enable root motion of on these animations to prevent them moving while performing the attack so, okay so i'll show you how to do this one so first enable root motion and i don't remember which one to use but let's use the ref pose and then that part is done let's create an animation montage from this and here i'll here i'll add the notifier start sword attack and then here in sword attack Just like this i will create animation montages for all other three animations uh, one more thing so the animation ends 
animation ends over here and after that I should be able to move if I press movement input so therefore this is actually uh, the total length is let's see 1.6 and here it's 0.6 so I'll add blend out blend time I'll set it to one second so it will start to blending out right when I'm here well right after I finish the attack so the rest is coming back to the regular pose okay okay all the montages are created now I'll go back to my original map where I test the game okay so here I'll go to the one player mode and play in here so this is what I already have okay now let me open my light attack sword gameplay ability okay now here this uh, this is which one is this slash this is the regular attack so this is the attack that I do left to right this one so uh, after my character focus on another character this attack would be the attack that I would regularly do so here in order to have some randomization I'll do something like this here I'll do a select and as the option 0 I'll choose this and in the wildcard I'll make this a random integer like this as the max I'll put 4 so the maximum value I will get would be 3 so we need 0 1 two three do I have three animations this is the first one and then we can use no we can't use this uh, uh, we can use this this is not used here slash diagonal slash horizontal and the next one is slash vertical and tap okay now let's try seems a bit slow why but yeah now we have the randomization okay uh, now let's test this in multiplayer okay yeah everything is replicated properly okay so that's all I wanted to cover in this episode and 
updated project files will be here available here for the download link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comments below and see you in the next episode goodbye